supposed to be at over here. So the graveyard is supposed to be about a mile, mile and a half um, across 16. Um, okay. It's said to be in a wooded area on private property. Um, there's no road or anything that goes to it. Um, I don't exactly know where it is. We do have a banner upstairs though that has some of the gravestones on it. So you can see some of them. Okay. Um, right. So it does show you a lot of them. Um, so I can take you guys around and kind of show you some of the areas. Okay. And then um, you guys can kind of go on your own. Okay. 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 All right, cool. <laughs> so, the part of the building you guys are standing in now was built in 1977 through the extension of the psychiatric hospital. So, once you pass through this doorway, you'll be going into the poor farm building. And this part of the building was built in 1960. And it is going to be super loud because of the rain. That's <laughs> why so I apologize. Okay.
Um, this is one of our more popular areas, the hot spot, I guess, if, if you will, for a lot of people down here. This is one of my favorite areas to investigate. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of shadow figures down here, a lot of spirit box action, uh, tripwire action down here. Um, Anything violent? So, I will say there is nothing to monitor or negative in this building. Um, I have slept in this building hundreds of times. My kids have. I do a kids day here twice a year. I mean, I live here. <laughs> now, do we have some spirits that are not so nice? Yes. Um, but nothing that I would say is evil. Um, I always say if you're a jerk in life, you're probably going to be one death. Um, but I don't think it's Joe. I think it's somebody else. Um, women do hang out here to get pushed or hair pulled or some kind of crap. Um, that is in this area. Um, my theory on that and another team that kind of came up with it is if you think about it, because I was kind of during the poor farm time, mm -hmm. women would not have been in this area. I mean, the many tiny rooms, the boiler room, the maintenance room. During those times, women would have been in the kitchen or the laundry room. They wouldn't have been over here. So my theory is Joe is either A, trying to protect them, or he's trying to protect himself and then getting in trouble because he knows that women aren't supposed to be over here. Yeah. So when women are over here, it's like, hey, what are you doing over here? You know, this isn't right. Because maybe he's not caught up on the time. He doesn't understand why we're over here. Possibly. That's just a theory, but it's possible. So just a thought. Questions? Okay, we're going to go upstairs. Hmm. What's all the plaques here for? So we did it as kind of thing if you were in a room and you had something happen, you could say like I was in the whatever team name was on it room, so you kind of knew where you were. Okay. Um, and we did it as a charity thing to where you could buy the plaque and then the money we raised went to Lost One Foundation, which is a charity that helps kids get prosthetics. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where they all came from. Okay. And we did that years ago. Um, we have, need to come up with something else because everybody always asks about it. <laughs> I saw that's that on the TikTok that he was doing. Yeah, his the is. Yeah. This is right here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> like I knew it was somewhere right here. <laughs> <laughs> Is something that happened right here or this hallway? Mm -hmm. It happened in the doorway, the hallway. What, what? Nick 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 that was his that he just named. Oh, so, okay. like, everybody just took, kind of picked the black, okay, and then they just named them. Oh, okay. Um, so, 1959, um, the poor farm um, closed down because the government agents kind of came into play. So that's when they turned into a psychiatric hospital and then a nursing home. Um, we closed down in 1986, um, kind of sat empty for 20 years. And then that's when it turned into the jump scare home house. Um, and then Robin bought it in 2014, kind of turned it into what you guys see now. Um, this room back here, um, this green room, this is Mary and Margaret's room. So you guys can go in there. This is another kind of popular spot for people. Um, <laughs> this is a good room, especially for guys. Um, so this is what we call Mary and Margaret's room. Um, Mary and Margaret were her sisters during the poor farm. They are said to be very boy crazy. Um, they like the fellas. Go girls. So especially when you've got to read books to them. <laughs> so there are some books over there. Um, a lot of times when guys read books, um, they seem to get their clothes tucked on or their hair messed with, especially you guys with facial hair. Wink, wink, hint, hint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of times if you stack the blocks up, they'll tend to knock them over. Um, a lot of the toys and stuff that people have brought in the mud for them. Um, sometimes they get played with. Um, but again, this is another kind of hot spot area for people. Okay. So. Cool. Cool. So, 
these would be bathrooms, so you would have like your shower bathroom, and then your tub bathroom. And the second and third floor kind of mirror each other as far as the way they lay out. Okay. Um, they would all be like patient rooms, uh, and a lot of the rooms you can see where walls would have been. Uh, a lot of the walls got taken out like during the haunted house. Yeah, this building's been here for a long time, hasn't yep. it? Since this part of the building since 1916. Yeah. This is what we call Robin's Nest. So Robin kind of created it to make it kind of feel like home type thing, and it goes back around. This is another kind of hot spot area, um, sometimes for like spirit box action, um, like rim pods, shadow figures. Always, this this thing's been stable. It's been, you know.
Just the water. No, it's just the water over there. Get <clears throat> the old feed box. <laughs> Is that one there? Yeah. Just yeah, it looks like it's pretty wet over there. Some of it over here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your case. We'll go away, doesn't it? Is that 
Yeah, don't go down that one, Nathan. What about here? Now, let me see what you got so far on that, Nathan. These are the words that he's picked up so far. We've got made a noise, true, probability, you're not welcome, leave, spiritual experience, and both of them, now 11 o'clock. Okay. Shut down. <laughs> shut down? Why do you want us to shut down? Why do you want to shut down this place? Or are you referring to the building that's shut down? We heard that you guys had a farm here back in 1916. Is there any other spirits flying away? Tap on glass. Tap on glass? Okay, let's tap on the glass. Is that the glass you want me to tap on? Why do you want to tap on glass? We're not here to scare you. We're just here to questions. Is there any families here? Where are the women been pulled by hair by men? the first floor. Is there any men here? All right, so we're going to do a necrophonic session. Uh, we haven't done one yet, so we're going to go ahead and hit start. Is anybody here with us? Would you like to help me? Is that what you said? What's my name? Did you hear anything, Nate? I have my son Nathan here with me. I'm going to kind of walk around a little bit here. This is your time for your voice. If you would like to speak. If you'd like to say anything to us, now's the time. Nathan, would you like to read a little bit from the book? Pick up one of them books and start reading it to him. Maybe somebody will respond to you. Have a seat.
from the, the first base pole. Celia wanted to run upstairs to the dolls right away, but there, they, there were errands ar ar to be done, the table to be set, and before she knew it, it was dinner time. As soon as dinner was over, Celia asked to excuse picking, picking up Bradley Ann and dash up to the nursery. Awesome. Okay. So, if anybody here wants to talk to my friend Nathan, he read you a little bit of a story. Uh, I'm sure he'd like to talk to you, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Talk to us through Necrophonic, through our audio on the uh, recorder. We'll be able to hear you. All right, so I split up from uh, Andrew and Nathan here. I'm going to go down to the second floor um, where I thought I felt a little weird. So that's what I'm doing right now. So let's check it out. I'm expecting that light to come on. <laughs> It was really different down here by yourself. I know it's in the daytime, but uh, it definitely feels different down here. So this is the room that I wanted to go in. And as you can tell, it's, uh, it's fairly dark over there. So I'm probably just gonna turn on, like I have been doing in any, any dark rooms, I'm just gonna turn on the uh, night vision. So let's check it out together. All right, night vision going on. Here we go. Should be a little easier to see things. All right. Now, a few things that I want to do in here. I have a full spectrum camera that I made, and I want to start burning up some film, starting with this room. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this camera to run by itself. Um, I'm going to try to set it up somewhere over here to where it makes sense. Maybe I'll set it over here. Have it facing down that way so that I can get a clear picture of the room. there a little bit and we should get something to set it up a little bit more. Take one of these uh, pillows here. Hopefully that's okay. I'm not doing anything but using one of the pillows. So I, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Kind of set it down there. So I can capture pretty much everything in the room. Okay. That's going to be about the best I can do right now. So, I'm going on out of here, and we're going to leave that one rolling.
Are you here with me now? I don't mean to scare you. I know it must be confusing with all these people coming in and out of your home. Bar room? Is this your bedroom? I'm sorry, would you like me to leave? I don't mean to intrude. Maybe I should have knocked before I came in. I'm sorry, let me knock. I apologize. So we're going to knock on the door here. We want, you want me? Okay, well, I'm here. 1970s. 1970s? 1970s? Yeah, you know, I'm 1976. That's a good call. I'm a nice guy. I just walked into your room here. I did knock on the door. Trail. Trail? I don't know what the trail means, but um, just looking to see if I got permission to come in this room here. And I apologize if you don't want me in here. All you have to do is tell me. I'm going to be going to the third floor so that I can hopefully make contact with one of you guys. Is that okay? You're more than welcome to come with me. Would you like me to put your pillow back, the one that I moved over here? I almost forgot about it. I will put it back real quick. That way everything is the way that I, I left it. On the couch. Uh, are you calling this the couch over here? I don't really know if you want me to, to get on the couch there. I'm kind of a big guy. But what I will do, William, well, my name is Williams with an S on the end. So that's close. Let's go in this room. This is where she said they did. Nice. Oh. Nice. Is it all in the app? What the? What that word? Carousel. Carousel? Has this, anybody been guilty? This, this is where they did shock therapy on people who had special needs. Is anybody who has I hear special needs? Or orphans. People had mental disabilities. Do you have any mental disabilities in here? All we want some answers. We're sorry for the way you were treated. And I'm sorry for women that who were treated unfairly by men by pulling hair and, and a dark spirit just pushed people on the steps. You heard something in the hallway? You can walk towards it. Break. Oh, there's a break. Break. Construction. They are doing construction. They're trying to fix it here, aren't they? Yeah. Do you like that they're trying to fix it? Yes or no? How are they? I did too. Yeah. Oh, Jesse. Is your name Jesse? Is your name Jesse? Why are you going to do magic here? No. You're not allowed to haunt us. You're not allowed to haunt, haunt us. Tell the lady. Probably. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. We would never haunt you. You never want them to haunt us. We never want them to haunt us. Here, let's go in here for a second. Jerry McGuire? Died in this area. He said died in this area. He died in this area. Hannah Marie. Hannah, Hannah Marie. 
Lawrence and Renault. Are you still at, are you here? We heard you're a true fan of all who ever visited or reinstated, resided at Ashmore Estate. Are you here with us? Where did you die in 2020? Were you 27 or 26? Agree. Agree. What is happening? What is happening? Is your name Hannah Marie? Were you, were you a friend that lived here? No. Anybody else here besides Anne Marie? William Whitehead? Are you here with us? Yes. And I'm just coming in trying to talk to you. So, again, I apologize if it seems intrusive. That's not my intention here. I think things like this are cool. Um, I like the historical aspect of it. I don't. I like everybody to remember the stories of the past. So that's kind of my focus here. So if you have anything you'd like to share, I would definitely share it for you. All you have to do is tell me. Nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred. Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Well, okay. Is there some ectoplasm here somewhere? Where would that be at? Here's another one of those signs. Paranormal free agents. Eric. Eric. Okay. Where is Eric at? Martha. Okay, I'm getting a lot of names now. Eric, Martha, and Traffic. Kind of weird. Go back up to Say that again. Are you here with me? Never. Never. Both of us. Both of us? Okay, that's cool. So is this Eric and Martha? Is it in paranormal? So is anyone else here with me? Walden Light. Walden Light? Okay. I'm feeling something on my leg. Thank you. Something 2010. I'm mean, gonna have more on my legs already. And I'm feeling something around my leg. I can't really describe what that feels like. It's kind of weird. I don't usually get stuff like that. So this is the operating, the one of the few beds left, uh, original beds, she said. That's all that. Was. What is that again? I'm actually just wanting to take a picture of your bed here. Is that okay? Is it okay that I do that? So this camera here is probably going to run dead on me. I got the necrometer running here. So once that happens, I'll turn the necrometer off. Disembody. Okay. 
So once that happens, I will turn this off and I will switch over to the phone, um, try to do 4K on that as well. Um, and then we'll finish out the rest of the Explorer with that. So hopefully the camcorder lasts for a good long time because I get good video off of it and I keep my hands free. So uh, hopefully. And again, you can still talk to me on the necrometer. I'm still isolated running. A couple, okay. Joe or anybody else who may be here, are you able to touch that fire truck over there and make it fall off of the rocking horse? That sure be a real nice confirmation to show that you're here. Well, we're going to move on. Uh, we're on limited time here. I do apologize. Um, we come in peace, guys. Uh, I always say that I come in peace and I leave the same way. So uh, I appreciate everybody up here on this floor that's been talking to me. Thank you very much. You're welcome to follow me around the building if you like. Uh, I'm going to explore one more room here, and then I'm going to head back down to probably the first floor. Sure. Okay, thank you. So we have some pictures here. Um, swarm. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to swarm you. So I'm going to take that as maybe I need to move down a floor or two uh, because you're in trouble. See, I'm starting to get things on here that uh, kind of sound like maybe it's a little agitated or whatever. So I'm going to move away from it and I'm going to go down a floor or two kind of see if maybe that chills out. A child, okay, who is it? Possessed. Ooh, a child that's possessed. What is her name? Or his name? So we have Andrew and Nathan still down there running experiments, so we are checkbook. We are going to go ahead and go down to the first floor. Follow us. Okay, well follow me. I'm going down the first floor. I would appreciate it if you come with me. We won't stop. You won't stop? Well, you're not following me home. But you're welcome. Yes, but you're welcome to follow me around the building. trying to figure out how to get there. Follow. Follow. Okay, I am following. Okay, I am now going down the stairs here. This is where the three, okay. Yeah, well, there's two more coming. This is where the lady said she gets her most activity. You was killed. Where was you killed? Too many. keep talking about murder. It's not what I'm interested in. Fire. Fire. 
basement. Yes, I'm in the basement, and I believe there was a fire here. So I do apologize. When it was the farm, there probably was a fire here. Yes, you are 100% correct. Let's see if we can see what's in there. Turn the night vision on. I'm going to walk back up these stairs. Wait here. What am I waiting here for? So, abandoned. I'm sorry you're abandoned. I'm not abandoning you. I'm just trying to explore the building. Would you like to come with me? You're more than welcome to come with me. You are more than welcome to come with me if you like. Um, so we're going to come in this room here. He is gone. Uh, who is gone? Who are we looking for? <laughs> Don't hate me. Weird. Very interesting building here. All right, keep reading those passages and everything else. <laughs> but interesting, nonetheless. We got an old uh, leave us. Oh, okay. Well, I'm planning on doing that. An old uh, furnace system or whatever it is. So, and I follow the advice here. Two men to count. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm coming up the stairs now. Abandoned. <laughs> he is gone. Yeah, Don't leave me. <laughs> yeah, I got ectoplasm a couple times myself. Is there any demons here? Correct. Correct. Oh. Okay, so I'm turning mine off now. You can if you want. Um, I'm going to have to switch over to a different camera because this one's almost dead. That's a wrap from Ashmore. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, this has been pretty fun. Uh, definitely plan on coming back here again. Awesome.